Alright, so I just wanted to say, how is this even fucking possible? In my previous video, I said that I had issues with the in-key LEDs of the keypad, which means that, well, the lights here, they're not lighting up. But yeah, so the bottom LEDs are working and the top LEDs are not. So yeah, when I noticed this, I immediately went and troubleshooted this. Alright, as you can see here, I tried testing if maybe it was the logic for the LEDs that was not strong enough or something because the bottom LEDs were working, the top weren't. So I tried shorting the signal for the bottom LEDs to the ones on the top and that still didn't make it work. I checked the connections between each LEDs with a multimeter, everything was connected, everything was grounded, uh, VCC was flowing, uh, they were connected to each other and yada 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 yada. I could not for the life of me figure out what was wrong. So I just gave up and bought new LEDs, 50 of them. And how are they suddenly working? They are working now. I can't believe I'm saying this, but holy heck, the whole excuse that Chris loves using, you know, the, it's not working because of bad parts. I, 3K just, I, I've literally gotten four prototypes from the same supplier and they just, I don't know. Like the fuse for some reason, it's the exact same parts as the 2K, but for some reason the fuse is reading voltage on it when it's not supposed to be and it's not powering on, which leads me to believe that they're sourcing bad parts for me, which is fucking unfortunate. And I quite frankly do not know exactly what to do besides just find another supplier. Yeah, that actually happened to me. How is it possible that 100 of my LEDs are not working? Holy heck. How? Oh yeah, here's one that I messed up. Uh, these have dead LEDs. I accidentally lifted the pad for the first LED, which means that the entire thing is not working. But yeah, I can't believe it's working now. And by the way, uh, this is a Crystal Fade acrylic. Not Crystal Fade, it's actually called Iridescent acrylic. I thought it would be funny if I cut that instead of um, clear acrylic, just to see how it looks like. Alright, let's see how this one looks. Well, they definitely do look quite a bit different. Well... Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So it turns out my LEDs weren't working because of bad parts. Ha. <sighs> well, to be honest, not all 100 of them are not working. Alright, so when I was trying to replace the rest of the LEDs on the other keypads, because I have, you know, I have a few of these, uh, I would replace the first one and then instantly the rest would work, including the two old LEDs that were on that board. And basically what that means is that some of the LEDs of that 100 is not working. And because one of them don't work, the entire circuit doesn't work. Well, at least basically if it's in the front of the circuit or something like that. But yeah, to troubleshoot my 100 LEDs, it's going to be quite a task. And I don't want to do that because, well, basically what's going to happen is that I will solder on the LED to the socket and then test if it works. And then the LED is working. But then, like, if it's not working, I have to desolder and resolder and desolder and resolder, which might lead to what happened over there. You know. I lift the pad and the LEDs die <laughs> forever because the pad is lifted. There's no more contact unless I shot with a cable, which is uh, not ideal. So yeah, I'm stuck with these 50 LEDs that are confirmed to be working. And these are the ones here that are not working. Uh, so I should have bought more than 50 to be honest, because I realized I need more than 50 for my future prototype projects. So yeah, and that's it for the update. It's time to start the firmware.